So when you are speaking to firms around the payment controls that they have in place currently, um, what are the risks that you uncover with those processes um, when they're primarily manual? Yeah, so I think uh, typically if an organisation has a payment infrastructure that involves a lot of manual elements, um, it creates a challenge in that it becomes difficult for them to ensure that there are robust and, and standardised controls in place. Often within an organisation's payment infrastructure, if it's manual, they might have multiple systems, um, disparate processes across uh, one team or numerous teams, and that basically means that their infrastructure opens the business up uh, to a lot of risks. So what a corporate may do is look at what process do we currently have or what process and controls do we currently have in place in order to ensure that um, relevant checks have been done on the file, uh, what additional security do we have in place to stop someone who shouldn't be able to access the file being able to, you know, who's able to access this data, is the controls in place to make sure that someone who shouldn't be is able to. Um, Often what we find is if a corporate identifies that their payment submission process and the payment infrastructure does have all these manual elements, then the answer to sort those questions is that usually there aren't ad adequate controls in place or they're very difficult for um, them to, for the corporate to make sure it's repeatable. Um, so it, it causes more challenges for them essentially.